What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome to Review-ish and today we're talking about Poker Tower Defense. I hope I got the name right. It's a little generic except for the fact that the word poker's on there and the entire game plays with that to its core. Now this is brought to you by or published by Come to Us Holdings because as we all know Come to Us bought a bunch of companies that does not mean they are developing them. I just want to make that clear real quick because you know my taste in Come to Us games I can't find one but I do like Game Villain. I'm assuming that's who made this. I kind of see their signature art style here. Big fan of what they put out. So I'm happy to bring this one right now, especially considering with what I've played so far. And I don't want to play too much because honestly, I want to put a series out on this. I'm going to talk about a little challenge I have for a series on this one. If you know me, I love me some PvP tower defense. And if you know me, I'm always honest with these reviews. And right now, this is the most rapid paced strategic and thought-provoking tower defense in this destiny child style i've ever played and that's saying something i was not expecting that going in i'm gonna talk about why that is how it plays what makes it unique and as someone who is currently playing poker as a side hustle i i'm on uh, america's card table as a matter of fact um yeah I can't get enough of this one right here. So as far as the heroes that you collect, um, you do get heroes, I will say. I'm sitting on Freezy right now. I just started out, but I don't want to fill up my chest slots. It will be a side game, unless you know you're trying to spend some diamonds, but you don't have to. If you want to make this a side game, these kind of games are perfect for it. That's why they put that chest slot there, is to reduce burnout. As a matter of fact, I got some main games I'm playing, but... Over here, we got Freezy in the house is my hero. So this is who I'm going to be able to use her skill once I merge enough cards together. We got Mr. Flash is a hero. We got Boom is a hero. But these aren't really who you're playing as, as far as your towers go. I just want to show them off real quick. They just have an ultimate that goes down when you merge enough. And you can stack them as well. But your cards are the name of the game. Now, you put together a deck by suits. You have a spade, a heart, a diamond, and a club. And you pick a hero that is going to, or a card that's going to fit the bill for each slot. You can't have two clubs, you can't have two hearts, anything like that. The numbers will be random, and that plays out in combat, but they all do crazy stuff. We're rocking on this legendary over here. Let's take a look at what my guys do. This dude is going to do big lightning damage to everyone, does more damage to people that are bubbled, which thankfully I am rocking a super rare that puts people in a bubbles. It's some beautiful stuff. There's synergies within the cards. They all do crazy stuff. We got death over here, chance to insta-kill. We got fireball over here just burn some people pretty crazy stuff man uh you put together a deck and you don't have you can't just put all of the crazy op clubs into one you can't put all the crazy op hearts into one you have to really create a deck team synergy matters and there's a lot of really creative ways to build teams but enough of that what game modes are you looking at before we jump into two matches what matches are we going to do by the way definitely a versus but what else but you got versus you're tried and true 1v1 you got duo your tried and true co-op over here in challenges you have a challenge mode where you have to puzzle out how to beat the challenge and it does reset every two weeks it looks like which is pretty sick you got changing challenges out of king's quest and you got the try hard how long can you last in infinite mode on the leaderboard and uh if you are curious i'm sitting at number one no one else in my rank has tried it yet it's fine man it's fine the game just dropped but enough of the game modes that's what there is currently is there room for more? Game just dropped. So, you know, you never know. But either way, let's go ahead and jump into the little verses and talk about the meat and potatoes of this game because this is what you're going to want to spend a lot of your time doing. And as someone whose longest running series was a PvP series on a tower defense game, <clears throat> Guardian Chronicles, I can't be more hyped about this. So we're going to draw a bunch of cards into our hand and we're going to place them out. Now, hear me out. This starts out very simplistic. It's going to seem a little easy on the eyes real quick. You know what I'm saying? You played a couple cards out. No big deal. We're kind of just chilling, doing our thing. Now you can merge anything that's the same suit or the same number so i can merge the spade over here into this other spade and get rid of both my deaths or i can move the spade over here into my bubbler which i don't really need right now because they're both tens and bam we have a merge and we got a level two bubbler it's represented kind of small but you can kind of tell by the color as well um you know the it's level two now we got a level two cc unit it's gonna bubble trap people out and we can spawn a couple more cards get them out here you can also merge within your own hand which does mean if your board is full, you still have plays available to you. If you want to merge something and see if you can merge it down on top of the field, you can insta-merge things that are already on the field. You don't have to... You, your hand is also your slots to play on. 
outside of just the slots you have to play on they just aren't attacking so you have a lot of play and a lot of flexibility and creativity in how you're playing so we're gonna play out what we got and spawn a bunch of new cards he's having a little trouble already it is what it is we're in these early ranks so i'm not expecting everyone to be ballers at this kind of game i've not spent any money but that does play into the challenge i want to talk about when we're out of this match um so we're gonna play it out every card does some crazy stuff this dude right here this club is legendary he's rocking out with this aoe lightning damage my man over here is struggling his brains out bro he's struggling his brains out okay okay so we're gonna go ahead and merge up here now there are also uh there's also bonuses as far as the uh, the the hand you have right here right now we have one pair activated so this is going to give me uh, attack speed times 1.6. We can do something crazier than that, man. Let's play this this down. We suddenly have a two pair. And suddenly, what are we getting out of a two pair? These are kind of things you got to either memorize or check out, man. 1.7. We can do crazier than that. So we have a five and a four. Mm, can we do anything nutty right now? King and a king. I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. There, there's all the hands are there. And the higher up in the tier list they would go as far as winning a hand in poker, the crazier they get. You get royal flush. You get fl just straight flush. You get five straight. You get, I guess five straight is the only way it can be. You know, a four of a kind. You get all of it, man. All of it's in there. And they all do crazy stuff, which does mean you have to pay attention to the numbers on the field while you're merging numbers and pay attention to the suits you have on the field because that's what your hero is while you're merging suits. It becomes very complex, very high speed, and really just incredibly fun, man. It's an incredibly fun time. So that's a little bit of versus. We got ourselves another chest. I have a one day chest over here. It is what it is, man. Sometimes them's the breaks, but either way, a um, little bit of a challenge. If you guys like what you see here, this isn't something that I'm asking for money for. This is something I want to straight up tell you. If we can keep this series going, because I want to do bite-sized PvP on this one, man. I just want to do some PvP matches, maybe some other gameplay. We can maybe do... We can maybe make a series out of this because this is one of my favorite genres. It might, it, tower defense is my favorite just mobile genre in general, especially RPG tower defense. So if we keep this challenge going for two weeks, I ain't asking for money from you. I will buy everything you are seeing right here on these launch specials. If we can keep it for two weeks, they're up for a month. If we can keep the series going and alive and well for two weeks, I'm buying every single one of these. That is 80 Oh my God. Okay, well, we're looking at around $130 somewhere around there. That's... That's, that's some crazy stuff, man, but I would love to make something out of this, and if we do, I'm gonna just buy all this mess and be fully invested, because that's what this game deserves. It is that good. I've never said that on a video like this before, ever, but... I, I, I would like to make this one pop either way, man Let's go ahead and jump into a little endless so we can really show off how crazy it can get you saw how the pvp works But let's show a little endless. So these are gonna be cards that I have no idea what they really do I can check them out real quick deals additional damage to frozen enemies. That's pretty beautiful stuff What does this guy do it places a mine that teleports monsters except bosses up to 20 mines? Okay, crazy stuff charms a boss to send it backwards a certain amount of time crit damage increases upon attacking the charmed enemy Okay, boost crit damage and crit damage. So we just got a lot of damage, man. We got a lot of damage. Let's talk about the rest of the stuff going on. There are a lot of events happening. There's the seven day event you expect on launch. There is an event summon happening where you get to, you pick which legendaries out of all the legendaries you want to put in your, uh, your chance up. You feel me? I forgot there's no, this isn't a PVP mode. Yeah, this is the survival mode. Um, so you get, you have a very high chance of getting the legendaries you want. And if you limit the amount of legendaries you chose, you might even get the exact one you want, which is pretty wild stuff, man. Uh, it's, uh, you know, you play co-op three times a day and bam, you get, uh, you get uh, your chance to roll the chest, which is pretty sick on top of one free chest a day. Pretty baller stuff. They're playing very free to play for a game like this so far, but you know, you know, you got to get into it a little bit to really find out how crazy it is. At the top, top ranks, they've probably spent money. I'm about to if we make this one pop off. You know, I'm so down. It's insane. We're going to merge within our own hand. Bam, we have this mess up. We can merge this out. Bam, we have this mess up. Um, Placing this down isn't going to be the crazy. It's, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. How do I make anything else pop off, though? Let's get this heart out of here. Merge some of these out. We got some stuff we can play over here. Bam, we have that tier three spade. We can merge that Joker card which you do randomly get. They are free to spawn when you have them available. You can go ahead and place them into a card and they will just instant merge up your unit. So it does place off a shard based system. 
which you would kind of expect out of a game like this. I don't think that's a shocker to anybody. Uh, but when you do summon something new, I think it's really slick for especially casual players or just new players to the genre. The king pops up and tells you exactly what the card is and does very simply in a single sentence, which is just, it's a good quality of life to not have to like summon something new and then go look what it does and study it. He straight up tells you what it does. And if you need to know the minutia, especially if you're thinking about using it, you can go and look then, but you don't have to just summon it and then go check what it does and find it and like look through all the, the high end nonsense. And like, it, he just tells you what it does, which is some pretty slick stuff. He tells you the rarity too, which I found a very nice quality of life. Maybe that's something that only I care about, but I love that. We have a two pair activated right now. Probably a lot of attack speed. Let's go ahead and merge this out. We got a four of clubs and how can we make this one pop off? There ain't a lot of places we can put it that are gonna really like, help us out in a way we can merge this out it sucks but we can we got the two pair out um we can definitely merge something out now we got to merge something out let's go ahead and do that um it was painful it was very painful i apologize for everything i just had to do there but we can merge this out easy money now we're running into a problem where we have a lot of income on us and not a lot of ways to spend it let's get rid of this one tier we can sell it for a lot of income you actually gain money for selling you don't uh, lose money for selling which is a beautiful thing merge these threes together and we have this tier four out all of a sudden but i don't really have a place to put him do we have it does tell you if you're in a little bit of a pinch what you can merge in with a green outline which is also a nice quality of life especially for people that are unfamiliar with the genre you know what i mean if you're unfamiliar with uh, with poker in general it might help you out a lot let's go ahead and tear that one up and that's pretty crazy stuff to begin with we can go ahead and tear it up again which would be hilarious let's go ahead and use our leader skill finally and we can go ahead and grab a couple of these we are on sale so let's go ahead and make sure we are getting as much as possible merge that out bam got the two pair merge that out bam get something crazy bam get something crazier okay now we're really looking pretty so we can go ahead and move this over here we got to spend our money fast man we got a lot of income on us and we don't got a lot of ways to spend it right now we got to move it out man move it out get rid of this tier two we don't need it anymore get this out of here okay okay that's a that's not even a play oh my god we have all these tier fours all of a sudden and nowhere to put them man but we are looking very suspect over here so we gotta hurry we gotta hurry man i don't want to lose here i don't want to lose here there's no way there ain't no way come on man come on man uh what goes where okay okay that can go there we lost wave 12 it's okay that's a new record man that's a new record for me i think maybe it's exactly on par with where i lost last time oh well man 68 percent of the way through give me my rewards we are number one on the leaderboard we're god tier it's a blast of a game i that's my that's my second you get two of those a day you get whatever the amount of challenges there are a day and you know i mean a, every two weeks uh five co-ops a day and then as many verses until you run out of chess slots it is definitely a beautiful side game or a main game if you're really trying to you know maybe you don't got a lot of time or maybe you're just trying to spend a little of that dinero you know it is what it is i don't blame y'all i support developers as well if this is gameville i am definitely going to because you know i gotta look and maybe i should have looked because i would have done them a little more justice it doesn't matter man as far as my if you guys are curious if you're gonna be playing this game who am i going for in my wishes Let's go ahead and scroll on down these real quick. I'm running for everything you see right here, man. We're, <laughs> we're running for everything you see right here. We got swap. We got, I, I don't actually know what they are. I don't know what they are, but you can see the pictures right there. You can see the pictures and you know, it is what it is. You can go ahead and uh, that's what I'm gunning for, man. Some crazy, crazy stuff. I'm really looking for these, uh, these bubble passives. Because honestly, I really, I really vibe with bubble. A little crowd control, a little bit of that DPS, a little bit of that AOE. Get more shocky, shocky out there. That's the game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click the like button, man. But you know me only if you really liked it. And if you vibe with me, then subscribe with me. I got you covered on two videos a day on the best hidden gems on the mobile marketplace, hands down. I would love to do a little bit of a PvP series on this one, maybe a little deeper. Let me know, guys. But either way, that's it for me. Peace out.